welcome to what I would like to call the wonder bag revolution. Why? It is simply a genius invention. So genius that it was actually listed in the top 50 genius creations in Time magazine. I want to talk you through what a wonder bag is, how it works, and why you need to consider getting one or two, depending on where you are in the world and how it can really, really help you change how you see cooking. When it comes to urban living, modern day life, cooking can be a real challenge. And it's so easy to default to convenience, simply because we don't have the time to cook, we don't have the time to meal prep, and we don't have the time to go out and get everything we need for the meals. This is where the wonder bag comes in and could potentially revolutionize how you see cooking at home, how you see nutrition, and how you see meal planning. Why? Because this is a slow cooker, which is not just a warmer, it is actually a cooker that allows you to pop something in the night before to be ready for the next day, or pop it in, in the morning to be ready in the evening. It has fundamentally changed how I see cooking, how I cook at home, and allows me to make absolutely delicious meals that are super cheap, super quick to actually make, and are super nutritious for me and my family. So what I want to do is just give you a rough walkthrough of what this is, how it works, and then I'm gonna follow this up with an entire playlist of amazing Wonder Bag recipes. So if you haven't subscribed to my journey yet, now really is a good time because there's gonna be a lot of recipes coming your way soon using these incredible cooking machines. So what is a wonder bag? It is a bag and it is wonderful. No, just joking. It is wonderful and it is actually a bag. But what it is, is just simply a beautiful invention like this with pockets. And these pockets are filled with very importantly repurposed foam that has been cut up into sizes and stuffed into these little pockets. This is what creates the oven effect. It traps in all the heat, keeps the heat in the pot, and allows you to cook anything your mind can really be put to in, in the most delicious way. It significantly improve, improves the flavor, it keeps the nutrition, and it allows you to use a fraction of the electricity or, or fire usage that you normally would. It's a very simple concept that is very, very efficient. So this is what a wonder bag is. And if you wanna know how to use it, then you should probably just stick around for a few minutes longer. So now let's look into all the pieces of the wonder bag and what you get. So you obviously get the bag with all the pockets. When you get the pockets, they might be flat. They might already be puffed up like this. The puffing up of the pockets is really important because this allows the air in and allows the foam to separate and trap in the heat when it wants to get out. So if your bags on the side are flat, make sure that you just take them, do this, fluff them out, and they will stay nice and poofy. If you wash it, they might go flat as well and you just need to do the same. So you're gonna have a bag with poofy pockets you're going to get a pillow and exactly the same thing. You're going to puff this one up. And the pillow is what goes on top of the pots. And then really cool, super functional is you're going to get carry straps. The carry straps allow you to, when you have your pot in, move it around without having to bowl your hands underneath and, and try and balance it. And then what your wonder bag will also have is a drawstring. The drawstring will allow you to pull the bag close, lock it in, and then put your lid on like that, tie it up, and you can carry your bag around. So that is what you get with the Wonder Bag. You will also get a really cool recipe book that has pretty basic recipes that can get you started. But from there, what I would suggest you do is do your normal dishes, normal cooking, and experiment. But in essence, this is what you get with the Wonder Bag. 
So let's look at how you will need to use the Wonder Bag. Firstly, open it up, spread it out nice and wide. Take the pillow out and then puff up the pockets just to make sure everything is ready to go. Lay it open nicely like that. Then take a dish towel and put it at the bottom. This is just simply to protect the bottom of the Wonder Bag, whether it comes to a dirty pot uh, from flames, from food, from anything like that, and potential damage from a pot that is really, really hot. Then all you do is put your pot in the middle with the lid on. I like to then use this first, but you can also, depending on the type of pot you have, you can put another dish towel on the top to double seal in the heat. With these smaller pots, I find it's not a problem, but the bigger pots sometimes do have gaps that the, the pillow doesn't effectively close, so then you might need to just put a dish, dish towel over the top. Put that on the top, take your drawstrings, gently pull them so that you don't damage the fabric, and you'll see how nicely it all just covers itself so that you've created a beautiful pocket everything is sealed in then what i like to do is the carry straps tie these in a knot on top just like that because it just gives a little bit more st structure and support i also what i do is i put this where i want it i don't so that i don't need to carry it around if you need to carry it around, obviously carry it around first and then tie it up. But you can see now that it's tied up with the pot inside, it's nice and snug. And that's really all that it, all you need when it comes to cooking with the Wonder Bag. So now let's have a look at the technique of using the Wonder Bag to get the most out of what it is that you want to be cooking. First up is pots what you want to be cooking in. So we obviously have aluminium pots, cast iron pots, stainless steel pots. Um, you probably find a few other ones, but those are the most common ones. If you want to go with cast iron, it's probably the best option, just because the cast iron retains so much heat that it really is effective and very efficient when cooking in the Wonder Bag. If you wanted to go with something like a stainless steel pot, that is perfectly fine as well, but what I would say is make sure the base is a thick steel base, not a thin little tinny pot all round, just simply because it's not gonna be able to retain that heat as effectively as having a thick steel base or cast iron. I would suggest not using aluminium just because the aluminium loses heat so quickly. The Wonder Bag will still hold majority of the heat in, but I do think having something like a thick base stainless steel or cast iron is gonna be way more effective. When it comes to cast iron, it really doesn't matter. Enamel, raw cast iron, you can use poiki pots, anything like that. So when it comes to what you cook in, it's really important in terms of the, the final product you're gonna get out of it. So now you know what a wonder bag is and you know how to use it. Now let's quickly cover how you need to cook to be able to use it effectively. Like I said, consider the pots that you want to use carefully because it will have an effect on the outcome of your food. But the principle is really simple. Follow the recipes that you are wanting to cook or you normally cook things like soups, oxtails, stews, curries, mince, rice, anything like that that requires a simmering time Follow the normal recipe, and as soon as the recipe calls for you to turn down to simmer, pop it in the Wonder Bag. It's as simple as that. The times do differ though. For instance, if you want to simmer mince for 20 minutes, you'd want to put it in the Wonder Bag for about an hour. It's fine though, because what you get is flavor that just will blow your mind. What you get out of an hour of slow cooking in a Wonder Bag flavor-wise for mince is incomparable to 20 minutes of simmering on the stove. Exactly the same thing applies to any recipe. Where things go a little bit different is if you are coming up with your own recipes. There are some principles that you need to follow which are pretty basic. If you're cooking anything meat-oriented, you want to cook it 
on the stove, flames, rocket stove, whatever it is you're using, for at least 20 minutes. Just to make sure that the meat is mostly cooked through, especially if you're looking at pork or anything like that, you want to make sure that's cooked properly and chicken probably a bit more lenient when it comes to things like oxtail, lamb, beef, all of those things. But make sure you cook it for 20 minutes. When it comes to veggies, you have a lot more flexibility. I found as soon as you bring all your ingredients together, you fill it up with water and you bring it to boil, that is enough to simply just stop the cooking process and put it in your wonder bag. Time will tell as you use it how long you need to cook it and the textures you like. Obviously, the longer you leave it, the mushier things are going to become because it is a slow cooker. But with that is this release of nutrients and the release of flavors that just make cooking in the Wonder Bag an absolute pleasure. Two things to remember when it comes to cooking before it goes into the Wonder Bag. First of all, cook with the lid on. When it comes to boiling, don't put the lid on or don't boil in an open pot. Take a cold lid, put the cold lid on, put the pot in the wonder bag because then ultimately you're going to drop the temperature of the pot by having put a cold lid on. So boil your ingredients with the lid on. First one. Second one is make sure your pot is three quarters to all the way full. Why? Because it's just an efficient use of space and the lower down your ingredients are, they're just not gonna cook as efficiently because they probably don't have the, the correct ratio of moisture to ingredients. So if you have a small dish like this one, make sure you have a small pot and rather have that filled three quarters to all the way full. Pop that in, make sure you have the lid on, put this lid on, close it up, done. Now that you know how to cook before it goes in here. You know how to use this and you know what it is. I want to start doing a whole bunch of Wonder Bag recipe videos. Like I mentioned in the beginning, mentioning it again, if you haven't subscribed, now really is the time because we're gonna cover a lot of recipes. They're gonna be mostly clean eating straight out of the garden as far as possible, trying to live more sustainably, especially in an urban, uh, urban setting reduce the amount of electricity we use, reduce our carbon footprint, our exposure to smoke if we're cooking over fire, which is, by the way, the main reason why the Wonder Bag was created, was to reduce the toxicity exposure of women throughout Africa that cook over open flames for prolonged periods because their dishes required there to be quite a lot of cooking. This now just reduces the amount of smoke they need to be exposed to significantly. And the same applies to you. It might not be smoke, but it might be electricity, it might be gas, it might be something else that you just want to reduce costs on. Or just be more efficient with the way that you live. So stay tuned for those. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please support this initiative and please subscribe to make sure that you stay up to date with all of these recipe videos I'm going to be releasing soon. Until next time, happy cooking!